what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? Kanye West will soon be making a hustle stop in Houston with his Sunday service shit show. He'll be dropping by Joe Osteen's Lakewood Church. Lakewood Church boasts about 45,000 members. They have seven to 10 million people who watch their broadcast on a weekly basis. So I think it's fair to say that even more people will be watching to see the circus. Check this dude out. Kanye and Joe has reportedly become tighter since Kanye has doubled down on his Christianity. He says that he got this $68 million income tax refund because of Christianity. It's making him a bunch of money. Now, Kanye and Joe do share a couple of things in common, even though they're from two different worlds. Both are dropouts and both believe that prosperity is money is a gift from God. I'm not against people having money that believe in God, whatever you believe. You know, I do believe that people are supposed to have what they need. And if money gets you what you need, you know, to take care of things or whatever for you, I don't have a problem with that. What I have a problem with is people who try to use God as a hustle. And that is what I believe Kanye West is doing. The dude said that he's considering changing his name to, what did he say? Uh, he said, something genius billionaire, Christian genius billionaire, Kanye West. Do y'all think God will approve of that name? Is that Christian-like? Uh, where are the Christians? Uh, step up to the plate. Tell me what you think about Kanye thinking about changing his name. Just thinking about you. You know they say in the Bible, so as a man think it, he does. So what do you think about Kanye thinking about changing his name to Christian genius billionaire Kanye West. This is such a clear hustle. I don't see how anyone can miss it. It's not about saving souls. This dude found a sweet spot. He like, whoa, man, they really falling for this Christian thing. Hmm, what else can I do? Where can I go? Who can I partner with? Hmm, I'm gonna go to the biggest churches in every city, especially the ones that black people go to. And I am going to push this word, this Christianity word. I am going to push it, push it, push it, push it, push it. And they'll believe me. After all, they haven't given it up yet. I'm just wondering if Christianity is responsible for him getting a 68 million dollar tax return. Was it responsible for him having money issues in the first place? This is what I need to know. Can anybody answer that for me? So you're going to have all these people who are going to rush over there to Lakewood. They'll probably have people coming from out of town to try to watch it. It's pathetic. People who attend churches for the only reason to try to get paid, to network, to see who they can meet. 
It used to be at one point a fashion show, but it's way beyond a fashion show now. It's really about finances. It's really to come all the way down to who can I meet while I'm there? How close up to the front can I get? A lot of these mega churches, these mega, I said mega, <laughs> some of them are mega and mega, but a lot of these mega churches, a lot of the, the people who attend, the members, they have never even met the pastor before. Think about what I'm saying, family. How can a church be so big and you be a follower, you be a member of that church and you actually attend that church physically? I can see if somebody was watching it on TV, but you're a member of that church and you go there physically and watch that pastor get up on that day, uh, that uh, dais, and you have never met your pastor. Some of y'all have been going to that church for years, have never met him. And even if you did, he wouldn't know who you are. He don't know your name. You have to speak to assistant pastors and aides and stuff like that. Parking lot attendant, can you tell him? You know, you know him, can you tell him? Uh, you gotta talk to his car washer. Man, no wonder there's such a mass exodus from the church. Kanye West, I'm going to tell you like this. Well, you already know, so I'll drop this on everybody who's thinking about going to watch you. Your mama should be embarrassed and your daddy should have pulled out. No more talk. What the haters talking about?